I freaking love this. Why didn't I start forever ago? They can see your videos, love your videos, love you, want to see more of you, subscribe to your channel. I wish I knew when I was starting my own YouTube channel. All my tips, all my secrets, let's jump into this. Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, hi, my name is Allie. I am married to my childhood sweetheart. I have a 21 month old daughter named Everly and we are currently pregnant with baby boy. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys all the tea <laughs> and how to start your own YouTube channel. So this is going to be tips from a mommy YouTuber, but these tips and secrets can work for anybody, whether you have a vlogging channel, a makeup channel, cooking channel, lifestyle channel, whatever. These tips can work for you. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I wish I knew when I was starting my own YouTube channel. All my tips, all my secrets, let's jump into this. So the first thing I want to point out about YouTube and starting your channel is, y'all, it is not easy. No way. And when I'm watching other videos related to this topic, it drives me crazy when people say, if I can do it, you can do it because that is the biggest load of bull I have ever heard. Not everybody can do this. It is so hard, it takes a lot of dedication, a lot of commitment, a lot of research, just so much goes into having a YouTube channel and making videos more so than people really ever think. My husband, love him, he is so talented at other areas, but there's no way that he could make a YouTube channel and keep up with it. And that is because of one reason, passion. If you do not have passion for this, it will not work for you. Because there are going to be times where it is so hard and you're going to want to quit, but you are just physically not able to because you love it so much. A big, big tip that I wanna give you guys if you are wanting to start your own channel is you need to have a niche. When I first started my channel, I was making cover like music covers i was doing makeup tutorials um and i think i had some vlogs in there honestly i had no idea really what i wanted to do and honestly that is okay when you are first starting your channel and you kind of have an idea but not 100 percent sure honestly the main thing is getting content up i would focus the first maybe 10 videos just figuring out exactly what you want your channel to be about, what you, what makes you unique, what makes you stand out, what kind of voice you wanna have, what kind of audience you wanna reach. Because if you're starting your channel right off the back thinking about views and subscribers and analytics, you're not gonna stick it out. It's gonna get super, super overwhelming. So my best advice is when you're first starting your channel, just start recording get used to being in front of the camera get used to editing videos and uploading videos because all that other stuff will come once you have say 10 videos up you figured out what you want your niche to be is you need to be committed when i first started my channel i was all over the place i was uploading like you know once a month once a week just pretty much whenever I had the time and energy or idea of a video to upload, I would upload it. But once I figured out exactly what I wanted my channel to be, that is when I started to really have commitment and I started uploading about once a week. Because if you start off right away doing like three videos a week, you are going to overwhelm yourself so much. I remember when I was doing one video a week and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's no way I'll ever be able to do any more than that. But you will because you'll set a routine and you'll it'll just become your new normal. When people come to your channel and they watch a video, you want them to keep clicking your other videos because in turn, 
that will make people subscribe to you. It's very hard to get subscribers because most of the time people go and watch a video and then click for the next video. So you want to have content that people can binge watch. They can see your videos, love your videos, love you, want to see more of you, subscribe to your channel. People love to see consistency. They love to see that they know you are going to be uploading at a certain time. They don't want to subscribe to someone that's kind of flaky all over the place. They don't know if they're going to see more of them or not. People like to have consistency. You know they can come to your channel and count on another video from you. Another tip is if you are planning on being consistent, say uploading once a week, it is very, very important to have a plan. I have videos on my phone right here of a bunch of different ideas of videos I plan to do in the future. And I even have a set schedule of the next videos that I want to do. Otherwise, it is very, very hard to stay committed and you're going to get very burnt out and overwhelmed. So you need to constantly be planning, constantly thinking of new ideas for videos you can do. Otherwise, it just gets very, very difficult. Now I'm going to be talking about equipment. So when I first started my channel, and I know you guys hear this from probably so many other YouTubers, but when I first started my channel, I was just using my iPhone. I suggest if you are starting a YouTube channel, to start out using your iPhone or whatever phone you have because you aren't sure if this is what you want to do forever. So I'd hate for you to go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on ex expensive equipment and then you come to find out, you know what, I don't really love this. That would suck. <laughs> I would suggest just using your iPhone maybe getting a little microphone attached to it. They sell a bunch on Amazon and you can make really, really great videos just doing that. That being said, I will tell you guys what I use. My camera is a Canon M50 and I love my camera, you guys. I did so much research when I was planning on buying a camera before I bought one and I love it. It is so easy to use. Also, it can get very technical once you start like getting used to it and stuff. It can make some beautiful, beautiful content. I also have a Rode microphone and it just attaches to my camera. The one I bought actually came in a like a little kit. So if I can find that kit, I will link it below. But I am so, so, so happy with it. I also have some box lights that I will use if I need to film like later at night or if the lighting is just really all over the place I will use these but really for me I love to just use natural lighting that's what I'm using today I think it looks the best but I do have that option just in case I need it and then I also have a tripod to what my camera is on right now. And this one, I actually thrifted it for like $3. I think they are over $100 online. So I will try my best to find a good tripod to put in the description box. I don't even know what this one is. But yes, I really recommend getting a tripod as well, especially if you're wanting to do like sit down videos like this. When it comes to editing and all the software I use, I actually just use my phone to edit all of my videos. Every video that you see on my channel, I have just used my phone to edit them. My camera is able to transport footage onto my camera and I'll just do that. And the editing apps that I use is I first use iMovie and that's what I use just for the rough draft of my video. I'll go in and like split and cut and then after all of that, I'll save that onto my camera and I'll go to an app called Video Leap. And this is the one that I use to add all my fancy little editing stuff on there. They're both very, very easy and simple to use. And Video Leap, you can get very creative with it, which I love. They have a bunch of just different like stickers, they call it, on there. I highly recommend that if you are just using your iPhone or camera. Now, when it comes to thumbnail. Guys, thumbnail is so, so important. Think about if you have this great, great video and you are so excited to get it out there 
and you know it's going to do so good, but you have a crap thumbnail, you are not going to get people to click on your video to even see how great it is. It is so important to get that initial reaction to want to watch your video so you get those watch times, so you get those subscribers. There have been multiple times I will record a video and then I'm like, crap, I forgot to take a picture for a thumbnail and I'm like trying to figure out exactly how I can get a thumbnail. I have been there so, so many times and now I always make it a point to, after I film a video, take a dedicated photo for that thumbnail. But to edit all of my thumbnails, I use the app Canva. It is a beautiful app to use. They have so many different options. There's a free version and there's also a version you, you can pay for. I just use the free one and every once in a while I'll buy like a sticker or something from them. I know a lot of people also use PicMonkey, which I have used PicMonkey in the past. I personally prefer Canva, but they're both really good. Another tip that I think is super important is you guys need to make sure that you are doing research. It's very important to research, to see other people in the same niche and kind of what they're doing so that way you get your creative juices pumping and also you find a way to stand out and be unique. You don't want to be doing the same exact thing other people are doing. This is so much easier said than done because you go on YouTube and it seems like I'll have an idea in my head of something that I want to do. Thinking I'm being unique, I start researching and realize there have been already so many videos about this and you're like what the heck so it feels like it can be very hard to be unique but here's the thing you can do a same video as say a lot of other people are doing just have like a little twist to it you know something that stands out that people don't see on the regular video you know what I'm saying you don't have to do anything crazy out there just kind of make it you make it stand out and the algorithm will see that and definitely recommend your videos more. That's something else you definitely need to make sure that you're doing is always being yourself. There are so many different types of people watching YouTube. You are going to find your people, the people that love you, that love your personality. You don't have to be this super charismatic, over-the-top person, especially if you're not, if you're more quiet and more timid. That's fine too, because there are definitely people that are like that watching YouTube. So, be yourself guys. It will definitely help you in the long run. Another tip that is very important is you want to make sure that you are always engaging with your audience. Guys, the algorithm is a crazy thing and you could go into a whole video just on the algorithm. Honestly, it still is a bit over my head personally, but I know it's very important in the first 24 hours to comment back as many comments as you can. And also guys, it just really helps with growing real connections and I have met some amazing, awesome people off of YouTube. People that I know every single video I'm gonna see their comment and just lightens up my day. Every time I see any of your comments and I see you guys coming back, you have no idea how much it truly means to me. Honestly, I could get emotional thinking about it because when you're putting your heart and soul into something and to see people coming back because they genuinely love you, it just means absolutely everything to me and I want you guys to know that I will never take that for granted. I love you guys and yeah, sorry, that was a little off topic, but yes, it's very important to engage and build those real connections because that's honestly what it's about. It's about helping other people and being inspiring and building connections and friends and I don't know, I love YouTube for that. But my last tip for this video is if you are the person that is sitting right there and you've wanted to start a YouTube channel for so long, but you're nervous because you're comparing yourselves to other channels, thinking, I can never be like that, I can never upload content that good, I just wanna tell you, get out of your head and just start your channel because everything else will come it will all fall into place the subscribers will come the views will come you just need to start it doesn't matter what other people are thinking about you it doesn't matter if your content is 
100% perfect because there's always room for growth. Just start your channel. You won't be sorry. And then if you start it and you're like, you know what, this really isn't for me, that's okay too. At least you tried it, you know what I'm saying? Or you could start it and you could be like, I freaking love this. Why didn't I start forever ago? Me. <laughs> you guys, I could go into a lot more detail, but I think I'm just going to leave it at that for this video. If you guys have any questions about anything I've talked about or anything that I didn't cover, please leave it in the comments below. And if I get enough, maybe I'll make a part two. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys.